Okay, hi everybody. Now let's take a quick look at the quotient of powers. So I'm going to start this one the same way I did the, the product of powers. If we take a look at, let's say, y to the fourth over x cubed, what this is telling us is that in the numerator, I have got four factors of y, and in the denominator, I've got three factors of x. Now, what can I do? Well, not a whole lot, because I, I can't do anything with the x's and the y's. I don't know what they are. I don't know how they're related to each other. Uh, the best I can say is that in the numerator, I've got four factors of y, and in the denominator, I've got three factors of x. That's about it, uh, at least for the time being. Now, on the other hand, if this had been x to the fourth divided by x cubed, again, this tells me that I've got four factors of x in the numerator and three factors of x in the denominator. Now, here I can do something, okay? What I've got here is a whole bunch of multiplication with some division here. And um, as long as you're careful, you can kind of play with the order that that gets done in. And in this particular case here, we're set up nicely so that I can kind of do this in, in a, uh, whatever order I want here. So one of the things that I can do here is I can actually say, wait a minute, I can do the division here first. Now, I can put these two x's together and say, what's x divided by x? And the answer is 1. Okay, and so I'm going to have a factor of, of 1 pop out there. This x and this x can also be divided, and I'm going to get another factor of 1. Because remember, what I'm doing is I'm doing the division here, and then I'm going to do the multiplication. Here, I've got another pair of x's that I can divide, and I'm going to get 1. And again, I'm multiplying. And then there's this x left over right there. I couldn't pair it up with anything, so it's kind of a leftover factor. And so what I get here is 1 times 1 times 1 times x, which is just going to be x. Okay. So how many factors of x am I left with here? 1. Now, what's the shortcut? Well, notice that what happened here is that I'm, I'm getting some, and we call it canceling here. And really what it is is it's, it's just division that's producing a 1. That's in, when we're talking about multiplication and division, that's, that's really what we mean by, by canceling. Okay, so I get a 1 pop out, 1 pop out, 1 pop out. So I pair up factors in the numerator denominator and they disappear. So what happens here really is from my numerator, I'm going to lose the number of factors that I see in the denominator. Well, that's, that's just subtraction. So what I can say here is that x to the fourth divided by x cubed, I can actually jump over all that work and get right to the answer by simply saying that this is going to be the same as x to the four minus three or x to the exponent one. Okay? Now, after people have gone through uh, the power, of, uh, sorry, the product of powers, usually this isn't too much of a stretcher. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense here. Now, there is a little bit more that can be said about this, but we're going to have to take a look at what happens if you've got negative values in the exponent. And we'll deal with that in, a, in another video here coming up right away. But let's talk about some mistakes that get made here quite frequently. So what I'm about to show you here, this is going to be incorrect. And I want you, I hope that you, when you you get to a point where you might be doing this on an exam that you catch yourself doing this. And I have, I have seen this, and I, I know this might sound, seem a little bit goofy here, but I have seen people do this, and they'll go, oh, I'll just cancel the x's. And I'm left with, with like four thirds. Four divided by three. Well, no, no, you can't, you can't do that. You can't cancel the bases like that. Okay, this canceling occurs kind of one at a time here, but I have to understand, first of all, I have to deal with that. Basically, what's happening here is people are, are doing the division before dealing with the exponent, okay? So they're, they're applying the order of operations incorrectly and getting a result that really doesn't make any sense, okay? Uh, particularly because that four and that three, those are exponents. I mean, at the very, at the very best, it wouldn't even look like this. You'd have to do it like this. And... That just, that's just goofy looking. That notation doesn't make any sense. Another thing that happens here, and this is also going to be incorrect, and something to watch out for, make sure you're not doing this. If I put a 2 in the, uh, in the base here, okay, sometimes what happens is, is people will cancel the 2s, realizing, well, 2 divided by 2 is just 1, 
and then do the exponent and make it like to the four divided by three or, or I've seen it to the four minus three. So either way, what you get here, you're gonna get a one as a result uh, in this particular circumstance here. But again, you can't do that kind of canceling first, okay? So both of these are incorrect. So what I wanna leave you with here is that, yeah, the rule is, okay, so if you've got, let's go over here, if you've got x to the m divided by x to the n, that the shortcut here is that this is going to be x to the m minus n. And just so that we make this like 100% clear, notice that in this subtraction ex expression here, the exponent from the numerator comes first and we subtract the exponent from the denominator. That's how that works.